I'm gonna go over our top picks for motorcycle riding glasses for men, so stick around. Hello and welcome, I'm Eyeglass Tyler. I wanna to talk to you about our top picks for motorcycle riding glasses specifically for men. Before I get into it, let's just go over some of the common features, things that will be shared throughout all of these frames, just so that I don't have to keep repeating myself. Uh, for one thing, our top brands for riding glasses are Wiley and 7i, and so that's what you're gonna find here, just Wiley and 7i. Another element that they all share is that they are all durable. Of course, that makes a lot of sense. They're riding glasses. They're gonna be subjected to some extreme exposure, for sure, whether it be the weather that you're riding in or just the fact that they tend to be more of a tool and so they might get thrown around uh, while you're on the bike. Also, they are all full frame wrap designs. So you have full coverage, full wrap, uh, which also gives you full peripheral vision, just as wide of a field of view as possible. They are all also ANSI compliant. That is to say they are safety rated as well as are exable. That is to say that all of these can be done in prescription and yes, that ANSI rating will be maintained for the lenses, even in prescription. All of these also have foam gaskets of different designs because 7i has kind of their approach to it and Wiley X has their approach to it. And I'll go over that a little bit as well. Also, of course, all of these are helmet compatible in their temple design. And that makes a lot of sense. Why would they not be? That generally means that they're a little more low profile temple, uh, that they fit more comfortably in the helmet uh, and it works well. By the way, before we get into it, if you decide to order from SportRx, since I'm giving you this list of recommendations, thanks to our See Better guarantee, you're never stuck with something that you don't like or just doesn't work for you. You have as long as 45 days with them to figure that out, even in prescription. And then you just call us, we take care of you no matter what that means on our end. And also we have opticians who would love to help you get it right the first time. So reach out to us. All right, let's talk about these frames. Let's start with 7i and the very popular Chirata. Great frame. I'm going to say great from about all of these. This is one of the ones that has a more of a stylistic choice here. If you like something, it is a smaller fit overall. So I'll get to the sizing at the end of this, but uh, it, it isn't as much lens real estate. It's not a giant lens, but it's a really good wrap design for sure. Let's talk about this air shield foam eye cup. They call it their air shield. Uh, and this is going to be the same for really all of these. There's one kind of uh, exception detail that I'll mention when I get to it, but their air shield is pretty unique. It is very, very aggressively wrapped really to make contact along your entire face to give you a serious seal on this air shield eye cup. So do keep that in mind. And with that being the case, they have a lot of vents and there's more space for them to include those vents because of that design, but you need it because with that kind of a seal, the chances of the lenses fogging is much greater. And so they do have filtered vents uh, all around the eye cup to encourage and promote circulation to minimize that fogging. So we do need to talk about the foam on the 7i because this is something that they like to do throughout all of their air shield eye cups is a closed cell foam. What does that mean? It really just means that there is a material wrapped around the foam. We all know what foam looks like. It has, it's porous, it has holes in it all over. Uh, well, they wrap a material around that foam to make it more resistant to sweat and grime and oils from breaking down the foam as quickly. However, in my experience, that means that it also doesn't tend to, like I mentioned, breathe as well. So I think it feels more sweaty on your face. It is, in my opinion, a little less comfortable in that regard. You do get more longevity out of the foam for sure. Uh, it just it makes you feel a little wetter, I think, just because, well, what, really what it's not doing is it's not absorbing that moisture. So keep that in mind, still a really good gasket and it will definitely be the best option if you were looking for a total enclosed seal. This does also have grip on the temples that has a little bit of rubber embedded in the temple tips. If that matters to you, it'll keep them on your face a little bit better. The SFW on this frame is 129 millimeters, which lands you at a small to medium fit. Next up, we have the Wiley X Breach. I love Wiley X. Uh, and this breach is pretty unique, especially because of this one element I'll get to in just a moment. But let's talk about that foam gasket uh, in the beginning, since I talked so much about the foam gasket on the 7i, because this is something that will as well be shared among all of the Wiley X styles here. Uh, their foam gasket is a little bit lower profile. It's not as meaty. It's not as 
uh, potentially total seal, but still, and that all depends on the face. It depends on the bridge fit, uh, but more than an effective seal for sure. Uh, but it is much more lower profile. You don't have as much foam and it is an open cell foam design, which means that you do have a little more breathability and the place where it makes contact with your face, the part of the foam where it makes contact with your face, there's a fleece lining. And so it's nice and comfortable. And I find it becomes less of an issue with that feeling is wet on your face. Like I mentioned, kind of the downside of that closed cell foam. I'm a more of a fan of the open cell foam design, and it's going to be great on minimizing fogging still. Uh, even though this gasket doesn't have any vents, I don't think that matters. While we're talking about not having vents in the gasket, here's the thing that's the most exciting about this frame to me is their system, this new, what they call dynamic ventilation system. Very, very cool element here. And it is these little uh, vents. I, I don't know what you call them. It's a little tab. You press and it opens up these vents, which encourages airflow and you have that control. So it's pretty amazing. Uh, it is something that I've never seen on a frame before and works quite well. The feedback that we've been getting from this system has been overwhelmingly positive. Really, really cool. Just a, a quick delving into that a little bit, how it works it. You just press this button on the, on the side, the furthest in toward the temple from the tab uh, where it starts. And it's something that's easy to do even while they're on your face. You just press that and they open up. And then when you want to close them, you just push them closed until you hear that little snap. So that's a really cool feature, design feature that I love about this frame. And you should definitely check it out if you ever have issues with feeling like there's not enough venting, there's not enough preventing fog in your lenses. Uh, this is also probably the largest lens on this table in terms of lens real estate, just coverage and lens that you have to look through. That's what I mean by lens real estate. Maybe it's a weird word, but I love it. This does come with an elastic strap that connects to the ends of the temples and the temple tips. You'll see the little holes, uh, the little notches in the ends of the temples. So that is an, an aspect that you can rely on if you like the idea of a strap. Straps tend to be not as easy to wear with helmets, I've found, at least for most people. And it depends on the helmet design. So you know more about that than I do because you know what helmet you're wearing. Now, when it comes to any additional grip, there is a small strip of embedded grip in the temples. There is also a fair amount of grip on the nose. So these will definitely stay really well in place on your face. They are also available with, like I mentioned in prescription, but specifically with Wiley X's Captivate lens technology. And that'll also be the case among all of the Wiley X frames. You can get them all in prescription with their Captivate tint technology. If you're not familiar with what it is, we have done videos on it. Definitely check it out. It's an amazing tint technology, all polarized and really, really great, to be honest with you. The SFW on this frame comes in at 133 millimeters, which lands you at a medium. And next up, we have the very popular Wiley X Air Rage. A little smaller lens real estate on this, but it remains a very popular aesthetic. A lot of riders really like this look and it's just a solid frame across the board. So I'm not gonna argue. There is no grip on the nose pad here. The temples do have a lot of grip all along and they are extremely flexible. And so that's gonna help for sure with comfort and helmet compatibility. This comes with a strap design that they call their T-Peg strap. Why do they call it a T-Peg? Well, because at the end and the way that it connects with the frame is a little T to keep it locked in place. Really solid option. I like this setup and I always recommend it for people who like more of that goggle style design. So while I mentioned that the foam on the breech doesn't have any venting, that's actually not gonna be the case with any of the other Wileys. They do have some venting design uh, inherent in the gasket itself. That's the case with the Air Age and the other Wiley X's that'll be coming up. And next up, we have the ever popular, evergreen Wiley X Gravity. Really my go-to. If somebody is looking for what is the best pair of motorcycle glasses I should get, just let me know what it is. I'm more of a medium to large fit. Check out the Gravity. Awesome style, timeless, classic. I think amazing frame just across the board. Uh, it does have a larger lens than say the Air Rage. Uh, really good balance of lens real estate by not having too much of an oversized lens if you don't like the idea of an oversized lens. There is a textured temple grip 
on the temples. Again, extremely flexible, very comfortable. There is also embedded nose grip, which is great. They're gonna stay on your face. This also has a T-PEG strap option that does come with the frame. The SFW on this guy is 135 millimeters, which lands you at a medium to large. Another really cool option available with the Gravity, which is huge for us at Sporter X, but also for me as a prescription wearer, is that it has an adapter option, an, an RX adapter, a prescription adapter. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means that if you have a stronger prescription, this frame can still work, which is not the case for almost anything else on this table here. Now, the problem with stronger prescriptions and a more wrapped frame design is that there is inherent distortion and it just makes them unusable. Well, with the RX adapter, you don't have to worry about that. It essentially gives you the best of both worlds. You can have that more wrapped frame design, that more wrapped frame protection, but without the downside of the distortion. So if you have a strong prescription, check out the Gravity Plus RX adapter. Next up, the 7i Bora. Back to 7i, back to that air shield. Just That's the thing that I think you noticed first and foremost with all the, the 7i's is how intense that air shield is. Cool design, it definitely works and works well for a lot of people. This does have a deeper lens in the nose. This, this shape is also pretty popular. I don't know what you would call it. Uh, kind of oval, but on its side. But this does have a deeper lens depth, deeper lens height. I don't know how you would say it, but a deeper lens, uh, primarily in the nose and the nasal area of the frame. And so you do get a lot of downward peripheral vision. So that's awesome. The embedded grip on the temples is gonna help keep them on your face. There is no grip on the nose, but they're gonna stay on your face, especially if you're wearing them with a helmet. With an SFW of 136 millimeters, this lands you at a medium to large. Moving right along now, it seems like I can get through the frames faster since I've already talked about all of the elements with those beginning frames. Uh, but we are talking about the 7i Panhead, another immensely popular frame coming out of 7i, a large rectangular lens shape, which is really good for larger heads. Uh, not as aggressive of a foam wrap on this. That was that caveat or the exception I mentioned early on. This does still have the closed cell foam. It does still have venting, but as you can see, it's not as aggressively wrapped. And I think that might be due to the rectangular design. Uh, it just is able to follow the natural curvature of the frame to still give you a really good seal. This does have embedded grip in the nose and this has a full wrapped and fully adjustable temple. So if that matters to you, very easily, very fully adjustable temple. This is the only frame on this table that has this uh, feature. So if that matters to you, keep that in mind. With an SFW of 139 millimeters, this lands you at a large. Now, last but not least, we have the Wiley X Boss. This is always my go-to for riders looking for a nice large lens and a bigger frame size. So there is no grip on the temple, there is no grip in the nose, but it does come with that T-PEG strap option, so they will definitely stay on your face. This is another option that is also available with that RX adapter. So check this out if you need a larger fit and you have a stronger prescription. With an SFW of 140 millimeters, this lands yet a large to extra large fit. Hey, if you're liking this content, but maybe you have additional questions about motorcycle glasses or perhaps you have prescription need, well, be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly expert Sporter X opticians because they are eagerly awaiting your call. And for even more motorcycle frame reviews, unboxings, and prescription motorcycle content, check out our videos and blogs. We'll put a link in the description below. That wraps it up for our top recommendations for men's motorcycle glasses and or goggles if you do consider that T-PEG strap option to make it more like a goggle style. I hope this is what you're looking for. I hope now you have a better idea as to what these frames have to offer and even better if one of them is right for you. And while we're talking about that, let me remind you about our See Better Guarantee because I think that it is the best on the market and it definitely should give you no hesitation to order any of these frames if you're interested in them. So definitely reach out to us. Our opticians would love to help you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like because it helps us a lot. You can find relevant videos over here and we also have great content on our social media outlets. I think you'd enjoy it. I think you should check us out there as well. We are at SportRx.